In a rare setback for SpaceX, the latest Starlink satellite launch, which took off from Vandenberg yesterday on July 11th, experienced a critical issue. While the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket performed as expected, a liquid oxygen leak developed in the second stage. This resulted in an anomaly during a planned engine reignition to raise the orbit of the deployed Starlink satellites. The anomaly left the satellites in an unusable, highly elliptical orbit with an unsalvageable low point. Despite efforts, the extreme drag at this altitude makes raising their orbit impossible, dooming them to burn up harmlessly in the Earth's atmosphere. This incident highlights the inherent challenges of spaceflight, even for a launch provider as accomplished as SpaceX. Though the company boasts a history of reliable launches, a full investigation is underway to identify the cause of the anomaly and prevent similar occurrences in the future. With ongoing production of satellites and rockets, SpaceX is confident in a swift recovery and maintaining its position as the world's leading launch services provider. Coming to Starbase, SpaceX is currently conducting tests on the orbital launch mount with preparations underway for the next super heavy booster to fly, Booster B-12. Earlier today, B-12 underwent a spin prime test, signaling that the next significant milestone will be a static fire test in anticipation of Flight 5 next month. SpaceX has also begun stacking Starship Launch Tower 2 at Starbase, with the first module lifted and stacked yesterday. In other news, SpaceX is requesting permission to ramp up Starship Super Heavy launches from their Boca Chica, Texas facility. The Federal Aviation Administration will review the proposal to ensure public safety, national security, environmental impact, and proper insurance coverage are addressed. Public meetings are planned for late July to gather input on a draft environmental assessment that analyzes the potential effects of up to 25 Starship Super Heavy orbital launches per year, up to 25 Starship landings per year, up to 25 Super Heavy landings per year. The assessment will also consider vehicle upgrades. This is it for now. Thanks for watching and goodbye until the next video.